Hello and welcome back to another video here on the Old McDonough YouTube channel. In this video, I'm doing my reaction for Celtic 4. Celtic 4 at Rangers 0. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go right into it. So first of all now, we're going to go into a play rating right straight away. Like, this was a fantastic game. And here is the player ratings. Joe Hart, first of all, he really didn't have much to do. Whatever he did had to do. He was absolutely superb. We're going to give Joe Hart an 8. Fantastic player altogether. Brilliant. So lucky to have him here at the club. And I think with Segrist, he's a good backup. But Joe Hart is still going to be in that team for a long time yet, in my opinion. And it's going to take a lot to get him out of it. For sure. Next, Yosef Juranovic. You know, it was very good today. I didn't think he had the, his best... Glasgow Derby, I think the 3-0 one was better, but I was still going to give him an 8. Any fantastic player, they didn't have any opportunities where I thought, oh, they might score there. So, I'm going to give Cardiff Actors an 8 as well. Starfelt, who I predicted to start yesterday, I think he did perfectly in there. Came off later on in the game, Jens came on and he did very well as well. He did very good as well, but I think Starfelt starting was the right decision. For this game, certainly. Greg Taylor, I thought, was excellent bombing down that right hand side. Everyone's getting it so far. We're saving the, the higher scores for different people here. Matt O'Reilly, I think this was one of the best performances that he's had on a Celtic top. So, for that reason, he's going to give a 9 and up there for one of the man of the match contenders. Next, Callum McGregor, I'm going to give him a 9 as well. The way he just ran the middle of the park was fantastic. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a joy to watch the Celtic team. I think it's one of my favourite Celtic teams that I've ever seen play. Anyway, for sure, has to be. Next, Ray Odate. Never got his goal I was always looking for in the game. Could give him an 8. Still had a fantastic performance. And the next man I am coming on to, go get a 10. Almost got his hat-trick in the game. Leal Labada getting two goals. Played fantastically. He held up the shirt of a Celtic fan that passed away only 14 years of age. Brilliant from him to do that and just he had a brilliant performance. Fantastic altogether. Next, Kyogo. I can't really give him a score. I'll give him a 6, average 6. Jota. I thought he was fantastic. Going to give him a 9. Celtic's going to be very lucky if they can keep on to him for longer than one season after this now. He's just that different gravy, really. Next for the subs here. Jens, I'm going to give him a 7, but he was very solid when he came on. That's, that's a bit harsh, maybe we might give him an 8. Jack and Macus, I'm going to give him a 9. I thought he controlled the middle of the park whenever he came back, held up the ball very well. Had some chances for goals, maybe he could have scored, but you know, still fantastic. Aaron Moy came on for later stages in the game, didn't really notice him too much, give him a 7. And David Turnbull getting the goal, we'll give him a 9. You know, the game was just a perfect game, really. Like, what more do you want from the Celtic team? It was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, it was, it was one of the best Celtic games I've seen. So I'll put it back here now. They just played fantastic. And I'm going to go into my, my attraction now, what I thought of the game. So yeah, what a just fantastic game all around. Celtic played absolutely fantastic. The battered Rangers, really. Rangers weren't ready for it, you'd think. After the 3-0 hammering Celtic gave them last season on the 2nd of February, that they'd be used to it. I know what to do, but they simply weren't They weren't ready for it. And that's why Celtic just hammered them. 8th minute, Abada scored to make a 1-0. Then Jota made a 2-0 after 32 minutes. 8 minutes later, on the 40th minute, Abada got 2nd. And in the 2nd half, 12 minutes of normal time, in the 78th minute, David Turnbull got his goal. And 2 assists from O'Reilly as well. Just a fantastic all-around performance, something to be proud of. And could you even start saying now, could this team go for an invincible league season? And why not Cup as well? So we're just getting better and better after every game. And can't wait to see what we do next. Fantastic. Next Tuesday is a big game, Real Madrid at home. So the atmosphere will be bouncing for that. Absolutely rocking. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Doing a preview for that someday, maybe. Monday, Monday evening I'll do a preview for that. So yeah, talk to you all later. Good luck. Hill Hill.